Tuscan style chicken cacciatore. So we're going to make polenta. Now this is slow cooking polenta. You can make three minute polenta, um, but we're using a coarse polenta and this will take eh, 30, 35 minutes, okay? But this has a little bit of buckwheat. So it's a mixture of both buckwheat and corn. It is so delicious. I have some porcini dried mushrooms sitting in uh, stock, getting nice and warm and plumped up. I'm gonna take the browned chicken thighs out of the pan. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil, a little olive oil. And these are Hen of the Woods or maitake mushrooms. And all you have to do is pull them apart with your fingertips. You don't even have to chop them. And I have some sliced cremini or baby portobello. So we'll let these guys brown a little bit. I'm gonna throw in some bay leaves right now. And we're going to add in some grated garlic. I'm also gonna throw in, don't tell John, even though he's filming this, a pinch of clove. Oh. It's very traditional in this dish. Sorry, you've had it a million times and you just ate it in Italy with the rabbit. So get over yourself. The and a few, no you didn't. And there's a few juniper, juniper berries. I'm gonna throw in a couple tablespoons of fresh rosemary. It was three fat sprigs. So we just keep working the sides of the pot while this cooks down. And you'll need to add more liquid as it goes. I started with one quart of chicken bone broth and a couple of cups of water. Once it's up to a bubble like this, you can lower the heat way, way down, but you will need to keep adding liquid, just so you know. You'll need up to five or six cups of additional liquid from the quart you start with. I have added our shallots and garlic after the mushrooms brown. Mmm, smells great. Now we're throwing in to our Tuscan style cacciatore some pitted coarsely chopped oil cured black olive. And now we're going to deglaze the pan, same pan that we've browned the chicken in with a splash of brandy, which is delightful with the mushrooms. And then we add in about a cup of Italian red wine. This is Rosso de Montalcino. And about two cups of passata or tomato puree, tomato sauce. And now we're going to let this gently cook just for a few minutes and simmer together. If it gets a little tight or dry, you can add a, just a splash of water or a little chicken stock or bone broth. Uh, we are gonna slide the chicken back in because this is boneless, skinless chicken thigh. We're gonna slide this in right before we serve. And I'm gonna keep an eye on the, oh, oh duh, the stock is waiting with the uh, porcini. I'm gonna keep an eye on the polenta. You have to keep adding broth to that as needed, but we're good right now. It looks nice and loose, and it still has a, oh, about 10 minutes of cooking time left. Never add the very last of your stock when you reconstitute dry mushrooms because it can be gritty. So I'm just adding the porcini to our beautiful dish. Just using the paddle to maneuver it into there and our porcini infused stock, and we're good to go. Okay, so the polenta is done, so now we're going to whisk or stir our butter in to melt. And I have 12 ounces of fontina. Add almost all of it, save a few pieces for on top. And when we get to this part, when we add the cheese, it's best to use a wooden spoon or a paddle. to get that fontina incorporated. And then we take the last bit of fontina, just scatter it over the top. The chicken is perfect. We're gonna pull out our bay leaves. Chicken is gorgeous, just beautiful. And I like to serve this rustic style right from the skillet and right from the pot. <laughs>